Hi, welcome back to Fireside here. We're on the mall today and we've got our lovely guest chef. Good old friend of mine, I've known you for years, Tony. Long time, long time, Stephen. Of our friends? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tony has two magnificent restaurants in Belfast, Kopi, which was your first restaurant, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. And then he's got another one called Bubba. And I've not been to Bubba, but I've heard magnificent things about it. So we're here today to cook from Bubba's menu. Yep. Uh, and Tony's going to take us through. So Tony, where you go? Okay, Dylan. Well, well, today we're going to cook a lovely, it's a, a dish that's been on the menu from the very, very start. It's a spiced lamb. Um, so basically it's all the flavours you would expect from a kebab, but we wanted to put this on our menu in Bubba because it was, um, all the dishes are served tapas and sharing styles, so these are one of the dishes we wanted to create. So, Stephen's going to help me here. Yeah, of course, yeah. Do you want to toast a little bit of those cumin yeah. seeds there? Tony, when did you, started on first of all, I, I'm here, to, I, I'm going to talk. Yep. Hope you can concentrate. <laughs> but where did you get the name for Bubba? How, how did that come about? When we opened Bubba, um, my daughter, we opened Bubba in 2018, and the day before it was due to open, yes, it just ground it down, it was um, my daughter Jasmine's 18th birthday. And Bubba is a name uh, given in lots of different sort of Middle Eastern countries, affectionately to uh, child. So oh, really, so really, we just love the name Bubba, and that's that's where that came from. That's amazing. So, so um, yeah, yeah, it just stuck, and um, it's been open from 2018. It was the day before her her 18th birthday. And do many people realise what the name is? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the I'm in that secret now. I know yeah, what's yeah. going on. <laughs> Okay, and um, listen, how many covers would you do? I mean, how many people can set? Bubba, how many? Um, Bubba, Bubba can seat, uh, well, go ready or do you want a bit more? A little bit more. Little bit more. Uh, Bubba, Bubba can seat about uh, 50 people, 40 to 50 people inside, but we've got a massive outside area, which is great in the summer, um, which seats about another 40 yeah. outside. So, so the whole ethos behind it is sharing dishes? Sharing, yep, yep, sharing dishes. Um, just and do you order them all at once, or can you just stop and start? We, we and basically stop? serve when ready, or you can stop and start. Whatever, whatever works for you. you okay, know, whatever. So if, no... if you want to go in and have something as a starter, something as a main, you can do that as well. And but... how many dishes do you reckon people between? We normally have for about, about six. Usually about six, but no, not between two. Sorry, six between yeah. two. <laughs> so so uh, you have me in the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so be three each. Yeah, very good. So we're going to start the base of the lamb here, which is... is um, Do you want me to grind these, Chef? Yes, please, that'll okay. be fantastic. Which is just going to start with onions um, fried nice and slowly to release the flavour. And then once the onions are frying there, we get warmed up in the pan. Once how how ground do you want this, Chef, or do you want it rustic? Or just what? A, bit, a bit of texture still bit in there texture, as well. Okay. So you start off with your onions? Start off with our onions, going to get them... A bit of olive oil in a little there? A bit, little bit more olive oil in there. Um, just get them until the flavour comes out, the sweetness comes out. Perfect. 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 And then we're going to add a bit of garlic to that. Now, have you good. got the lamb there from that? Yes, of course. Yep. Have a date. Now, this is the lamb we use. Uh, this lamb, we've been using it... When we started off, we really wanted to, as I say, get that real flavour of a kebab. So uh, we work with Peter Hannon, and Peter Hannon up in Moira there. He, he's, this is all organic uh, Glenarm lamb. Yeah. Uh, belly and leg, minced down. It looks like sausage to me. It is basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but smell that. It's got That's all those amazing. Turkish sort of spices and Perfect. flavors. And so, so basically, that smoked paprika in there? And stuff yes, like sir, that? yeah, it's, it's secret spice mix. Can't really tell you that. Like. Secret <laughs> spice mix, did you get that anyway? <laughs> But they're not you, can, no. you can see as well because the spices yeah. are in when I ground, it's cured it slightly. It has cured and I, there's obviously a bit of salt in there too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we're going to fry this off. Just like that. Just like Do that. Do you want to no bring it, break that down a wee bit? Oh yes please, we just, as it cooks we just oh. break that down. It's not what I thought. <laughs> so you can see the texture, the salt yeah, obviously cured and the spices cured. So um, Johnny, you keep me right here. <laughs> but again, Johnny will be on next by the way. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, really with this here, we're going to salt. Here, add salt here, Chef. Oh, perfect. Do you want salt in yes, here? Yes, please, just on the garlic. So basically, we're going to um, add a wee bit of garlic to this as well, so I'll just crush the garlic down. Is this a low, slow cook, or is it high cook? What, uh, what do you we're, want? we're getting it started uh, on, on it there, so okay. yeah, keep it about there, you know, we'll get, it, we'll get that cooking nicely. Um, but as you can see, you know, the flavours of the... You can really get that smell coming. Yeah, turn up a wee bit, get, the, get that going. Wow. So I'm just going to cut, crush the garlic. So, 
Yep. You, these are just kind of quite rustic when you serve us. I, I mean, I'm, yep. I'm kind of, I can't wait to get these. Basically, it's, like, it's served, this is the way we serve it in the restaurant. It'll be served in this dish, and there'll be a little bit of lemon, preserved lemon yogurt, a little bit of harissa sauce, and a little bit of our house sauce. We make our own house sauce and stuff in there, you know, just to get that real authentic flavor. So, there we are there. We've got, got this working. Okay. Um, we're going to transfer this, we'll get this up a wee bit higher, and then I'll swap this over actually. Right and I see you're, you're used to the big gas rings in the, <laughs> I know, I, in the restaurant. But so we're just starting to break this down. And you can see all that fat release in there as well. Mm -hmm. You don't really want to... And that's lamb belly in there? Yep. Yeah. So we'll, out. we'll drain a little bit of this fat off. Okay. I'll just put that in too. Trying you want me to chop or anything? Um, no, no, we're all good. Just and what happens with the fennel? Keep on the onions there. We're going to put the onions into here. And then we're going to start... Um, just drain a little bit of that oil off. Let's put the onions into here. And now we're going to start um, adding the layers of um, spice and season to this. No, is this so, your most popular dish? Yes. In the restaurant? Yes, by far. And it has been from day one. So you had it on day one. Yep. This, did, um, you take, did you take it off at one stage? Nope. Never? Never. Never took it off. The only dish, this and the halloumi fritters. Uh, we do a halloumi fritters. And you take them off, people wouldn't come back. Yes. A bit like Kobe as well, you know, the duck ragout. Yeah. You, know, you, could, you could never take it off. So as you can see, it have got a lovely colour on that. So this is a little bit of harissa paste. Okay. So harissa is a North African chilli paste. Rose petal harissa? Rose petal, petal roasted chilies, yeah. um, all those flavours. So we're going to get that into there. Okay. So you can see, we love to keep a bit of texture in it. We don't want to break it like like you would kind of like a, she says, kind of like when you carve a kebab off that. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going for. That's yeah. why we fry it, fry it this way to keep it chunky. And, I also um, the best kebab I had was come, uh, going down the front and road after a Chelsea match. <laughs> so this is. I was, on, I was on my own, Tony, <laughs> and I just walked past this shop and I, I could smell the kebab. <laughs> I was straight, like, like a radar straight yeah. to the shop. You can't beat it. Can you? <laughs> so what so do you that, put, what do you that put is there? baharat spice. So. Basically, Tell me what baharat, is. baharat is basically it translates wow. as top of the shelf. So top baharat can be can be everybody has their own blend, but it basically comes from top of the shelf spices that were mixed and people mix their spices together. All right. Okay, so this is a little bit of sweet paprika, uh, a little bit of smoked paprika. So the, the old Tony I knew was always in the Thai food. Yep, still but, am, still yeah, am. And so you have this thing about you love spice. Uh -huh. Where a lot of chefs avoid spice. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I don't avoid spice. Uh, what got you the spice? Um, whenever I first started training as a chef, I went to Australia uh, in 1994. Yeah. Um, spent a long time out there myself and Andrea. And we have lots of entries, so like yeah, Japanese, yeah, Thai, yeah. the whole thing. So I really fell in love with Southeast Asian food. Yeah. So we basically went travelling um, for six months around Southeast Asia. And I learned, uh, I worked with chefs, I, worked, I went to street food vendors, all sorts, you know, and really learned the cuisine. Yeah. And then I just fell in love with spice, but even the flavours of Morocco, um, everywhere, in Australia, it's such mm. a multicultural society over there. It's um, but, you, you can't help but fall in love with all the different cultures and cuisines. Okay. So that's what got you in the spice. Johnny, you want touch those? Ready? Whoop it in the one. So that is the dish ready to go. So, natural sweetness of lamb. Okay. Yeah. So we're not adding any no, no chili jam, any. Yes, thing. there is, but they'll go on at the end. Learn later. So these, these, are, these, these are. And this is your house dresses. Ice dressing and harissa dressing and yogurt. So basically, okay. it's all about layering the flavours up now. So we always spice in that. Ooh. Yeah, we always put a little bit of yogurt on the bottom of the dish. Yeah. So just just so that you're getting these flavours right through. You know, there's nothing worse than getting sauce at the top of a dish and then it's not on the halfway through that's the dish you're losing it. So. And that's got to cut down, cut things through. We've got yes. Yep. So you'll get a taste of this when it's all, all together and all um Do I have all to finished. Wait? Nope, nope, no at all. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna just spoon this into the wee dishes. 
But you can see that texture, you know, the lamb's nice and chunky. It's, um, it's really good. Great. It's, it's actually, I know naturally as a chef, what you probably, naturally you would think, you'd roll in the little fritters. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that right? Yeah. And then it'll be dead honey for service. Exactly. And you fry them in the fryer. <laughs> and you put them in the oven and away you go. But it's but not, different. We, which I love. We love, um, we love, love to it. cook the way, the, we love to cook the way we love to eat. Yes. You know, sometimes, it's, I know chefs can uh, over refine food a lot. I think they do. And, uh, exactly but but they, they don't really like to eat that way either. No. So that's a little bit of um, harissa, over the, sorry, house sauce over the top. This is harissa. Now we're going to finish with a little bit of harissa. And then we just finish with a tiny bit of mint. Mint's gay. Uh, mint, mint just freshens the whole. Ch changes it, doesn't it? It yeah. cuts it. And, uh, it does, it freshens the whole thing up, so. Lovely. A little bit of mint over the top. Well, I, uh, I know where I go for my dinner next year. <laughs> and there you go. That um, is the Bubba yeah. Spice Slam. So uh, simple, Tony, but it's really quick too. Yeah, it's very quick.